evening. I hope you can see my face. And if I zoom in anymore, you'll not see what I'm doing. So it's uh, six o'clock in the evening here at the moment. And remember I spoke to you about my timings and getting them just right for my rising process. So this is about a good time to, to get my mixture together for my sourdough tomorrow. So I've got my starter here, which is, I fed about half 12, so it's doubled in size. So that should be a good point to add that. Let's have a look. You can tell usually. Oh, wait, how much water is it again? 350 grams of water. So this is tepid water. You don't have to, but I like to. water set that back to zero again and then add my 50 grams of starter and that's nice and bubbly probably can't see and that's the test so that is floating on top so that's good if it sinks it's probably not quite ready not that I'm an expert but I've watched enough videos. It's a little bit over, but that's going to be hard to remove now, so just by bother. It doesn't make much difference. It never seems to for me, anyway. There we go. Set that back to zero. I'm going to give that a stir. of flour. I'm making enough of these now and I still have to look at my notes. myself to tip it all out from the glass tub because I'll just go way over. <laughs> So that's what we got, a nice gooey mess. Sorry, the lighting's bad because it's so dark in this kitchen. There we go. So I'm going to cover that. With my tea towel. I must remember to get some baking powder to the paper tomorrow. I've got to get it in the shopping. So I'm going to cover that for about an hour till about seven this evening. For about an hour and then I'm going to perform the four stretching folds before I go to bed. And then it will sit out, improve, rise overnight 
and then I can put it in my banneton and then it'll go in the fridge for a couple of hours until I'm ready to bake it and then I want to try something new with it. I've got some baker's twine here and some cinnamon sticks. I'm going to try and make it look like a pumpkin loaf. It's probably going to go wrong but I'm going to try anyway. An hour's passed, so I'm just going to give it its first stretch and fold. You can dip your fingers in the water there to make the first one a bit easier. And at this stage it is quite sticky, but that will, that will get better with the more folds that you do. it's just getting a little bit less lumpy looking now so I'm just going to wash my hands and cover that for another half an hour and then put back carry on knitting my sock now give this its last stretch and fold. I'm just going to try and open that door and let Bilbo out for his nine nights wee wee. Hold on a minute Bilbo. I need a tea towel to help me that door. Oh, it's not too bad now. He's off for his nine nights wee wee so I'm just going to give it its last stretch and fold. This is where we're at. Ugh. Hold on a moment. There we go. So, as you can see, it's a lot more. Ah, uh, what's the word? It's a lot smoother now, look. should just come away nicely from the bowl like that so that's perfect now that's his fourth and last one so I'm just gonna leave that like that cover it up with my piece of wax that goes into this process and wrap it up for bed and leave it overnight. I know you can't see me. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So it's all wrapped up. I'm going to leave that now overnight and when I come down in the morning it should have risen and I shall put it in my banneton and then leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours before it gets baked. So, I shall wish you good night. Is he coming? No, he's still out there having a sniff. Bilbo! Come on! He's done. I can go to bed now. Bye! Night nights! You done? Come on then, get your toy, get your blankie, off we go.